everyone, it's Maddie here, and today um, was supposed to be a tutorial using the new Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette, but uh, I'm not gonna lie guys, I don't like the look that's on my eyes right now. And I told myself that this was not going to be a review because there's a million and two reviews out there, everybody's heard everybody's opinion, everybody knows the popular opinion. Um, but this kind of turned into a review. Reason being is that I have sat down probably multiple times to try to create a look with this palette. And this, it, it just doesn't work anytime. I can't get the colors to blend together. I couldn't get the dark color to blend. I couldn't get the yellow to pop like I wanted it to. But I do really like this orangish, uh, peachy coral shade that is on the lower lids. That is the one part I do like. So I'm going to take you guys through today me doing this eye look. Um, and then at the end, I will kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on it. I know, again, I didn't intend for this to be a review, but that is what this is. So I did my face uh, before I started filming. I tried a new skincare product recently and I had a bad reaction. I have little bumps all over my face. So I didn't want to uh, put you guys through that process today. So we're just gonna be focusing on the eye look today. So the first thing I'm gonna do guys is I'm going to take this shade called Dawn and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that like in my crease here. This is gonna be our transition shade today. And I'm gonna go in with that shade Fudge here. And I'm actually, I'm gonna use the brush that came with the palette. And I am just going to apply this on the outer corner. Okay, I actually don't like this brush. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush here. It's pretty dark and it's not blended very well, is it? I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna work on blending this out. I guess if this doesn't work out, like I don't have to post it. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube, right? So I realized this doesn't look that blended. Um, it remains really dark in these areas right here, but I think I've blended it out as much as I can and I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go on to the next step. So I'm gonna go in with this shade called Edge here and I'm gonna take that brush from the palette, hopefully this side I like better, and I am going to apply this to my lid. Okay, I'm not liking this like at all right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit with some concealer and see if I can sharpen up these lines at all because honestly guys, I feel like I've blended for about 10 minutes now and I just cannot get it to blend whatsoever. So 
So this video wasn't going to be like a review because I know that everybody's heard everything about this palette already, but like it's kind of turning into a review because I'm not going to lie guys, I have sat down with this palette like before filming probably four to five times to try to come up with a look that I think would be appropriate to, to film for you guys. And now this is like fifth or sixth time that I'm doing this and I still can't do it. I also feel like I have a little bit of like a black and gold vibe going on. Black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. I am from Pittsburgh also. Not that anybody asked or cared, but I am from Pittsburgh. I think I'm gonna go into this shade Roxy here. I was gonna go into New Wave, but honestly, I really feel like I need to lighten this look up a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Roxy to my lower lash line. So I'm gonna spray this with a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm, I don't normally use Fix Plus with a matte shade, so I'm not. All right, well, there's a big difference. I'm going to try to Lighten up the inner corners. And actually, I think what I'm gonna do, I have an idea. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix that shade Cube and Roxy together, kind of to give it like a shimmery orange shade. So I think this is all I want to do with this shadow. I honestly, I'm not thrilled with how this turned out whatsoever. Oh, I definitely got to clean this up right in here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to finish up my eyes, like clean some things up here, and then I will be right back. Well guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, this is not a look that I wanted to come up for with you guys. So, you know, this again, I said it like three times, was intended to be a makeup tutorial. It has turned into a review. There are some colors that I do plan on playing around with more. I really like this shade Roxy here. I think that's super pretty. This shade Cube kind of looks like it's supposed to have like a holographic like tint to it. Like I really like that like when I swatch it on my finger. But when you put it on the skin, let's see, like, like you can't see it at all. Like how disappointing is that? Um. This shade Fudge was like the hardest shade ever to blend in the world. I stopped filming and I blended for probably, no lie, 10 to 15 minutes. And it's still not blended. I even cleaned it up with concealer. And it still is not like... So, would I recommend anybody buying this palette? Probably not. With that being said, I don't think the palette is worth the money. I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, I'm going to try to not waste money on it. Um, the Modern Renaissance palette, so much better than this. I'm not really sure, like, what happened. There's definitely something that's in some of the formula that doesn't allow things to blend together. Like, when certain shades blend together, they tend to separate and oxidize and like create this like 
these patchy new colors that it's really weird I don't know how to explain it but something in the formula is not it's a little wacky so thank you guys so much for watching yet another review of the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette uh, I appreciate you guys watching if you like this video which I didn't <laughs> If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button down below. And um, you can also follow me on my social media accounts. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. That information is posted for you in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day.